With cutting edge technology, the latest robot animals have become so advanced that the well-being of both wildlife and the general population is at stake. This robot dog puppy is attempting to fit into a pack of African wild dogs, but the strong sense of smell of this species could ruin its plan. The robot puppy must do an impeccable job to be accepted, imitating their body language and avoiding the need to start a survival battle. They usually form very large families. Here a massive pack of wild dogs emerges from a cave to greet the daylight. Also known as painted wolves or African wild dogs, these animals are very united, working together as a team to survive. Here an adult feeds its pups, bringing fresh meat from a recently hunted prey. The advanced super spy acts just like a wild dog puppy, and is finally accepted by the pack members, capturing unique behaviors of these species. Komodo dragons are very unique reptiles, and this one in particular is even more special. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, it's ready to interact with its real dragon counterparts, hoping to be accepted. They are the largest lizards in the world and highly effective hunters, reaching speeds of up to 20 km per hour. They can swallow large prey such as chimpanzees, wild boars, and even members of their own species. The Commodore robot is lucky that a battle erupts between two males in the group and in the meantime it's safe, filming the confrontation. But it is not alone, it's accompanied by the pigbot, which being one of the Commodore monster's favorite prey, it's ready to lure them in and capture close-up footage. These ruthless lizards are known for eating anything not even sparing their own family. Here, the dragon feeds on one of its weaker offspring, which it deems unlikely to survive in the future. Back with the spies, the big butt catches the attention of the Commodos, and while they try to eat it, it manages to capture exclusive footage inside their mouths, where they deliver venom and toxic bacteria to neutralize their prey. This time, the spy pig sacrifices itself for the team. Mongooses and meerkats have the ability to fight and hunt venomous snakes, especially cobras. Their specialized acetylcholine receptors make them immune to venom, and their thick fur and quick reflexes also come in handy during battles. A spy cobra encounters the real meerkat platoon and is quickly ambushed, demonstrating the strength of teamwork. In this incredible battle, ground squirrels and the mongoose join forces to fight a cape cobra in an attempt to protect their young. This robot jaguar approaches the crocodile infested swamp, and although jaguars love eating crocodiles, this one isn't here for a meal, it's here to spy. We move on to an aqueduct where a spy robot faces off with a crocodile, meeting it face to face, just before the reptile decides to back down and avoid trouble. It's curious because crocodiles don't usually sniff or taste their prey before eating it, and had it tried to swallow the robot, we can only speculate what would have happened. Perhaps an electric shock in the worst case scenario, or it might have simply towed it out, rejecting it. Either way, the crocodile makes the best decision by retreating and ensuring its survival. Back in the swamp, the animatronic jaguar approaches the water to get a better shot. It's only a matter of seconds before the crocodiles notice the jaguar and take a defensive stance. Luckily, the jaguar has an ally, who besides helping capture never before seen footage from this perspective, also helps keep the crocodiles at bay by mirroring their body language. It's a battle of strategies, and in the end, it's a win-win for everyone. The spies accomplish their documentary mission, and the real crocodiles avoid eating something that could harm them, potentially even delivering an electric shock, especially if submerged in water. Although there are prototypes of animatronic wildcats that seem real, like the one created by Nat Geo for its animal awareness campaign in the UK, it's better to have a genuine fight without tricks where predators recognize that it's a different species and engage as they would with any other. This small robot doesn't just have all the technology possible, making a formidable opponent for any wild animal. It's also incredibly brave. It doesn't hesitate to fight two cheetahs at the same time. 
It kind of reminds me of the super advanced Robodog in the movie AXL from 2018 with Becky G in the cast. Back to the fight, the handlers first release one of the cheetahs, which charges at full speed to neutralize the intruder who has invaded its habitat. After seeing the robot counter the first attack, they release the second leopard, which also rushes toward the intruder. This time, both cheetahs prefer to stay away from the strange creature they've never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with that? Maybe that robots like Nat Geo's leopard weren't made specifically to fight animals or humans, but the robots created for BBC's Spy in the Wild must defend themselves if necessary, moving and acting like real animals in order to infiltrate and do their spy work properly. This cub joins a group of bears heading to the river for salmon. They've never seen him before, but they're willing to meet and foster him, unless something smells off. Meanwhile, in the Arctic, a polar bear has found a possible prey acting very strange. Its job is to survive and return with the camera intact, but the hungry bear might try to eat it at any moment. In this battle, it's clear that both aim to survive. However, the robot's operators suddenly lose control when it gets stuck in the snow. It wouldn't be the first time a polar bear has been caught destroying a robot. In We Bear Bears, the polar bear manages to rescue the girl from the giant robot with an axe, eventually giving it what it deserves. Back at the river, the cub has been accepted by the bears, and they let it tag along as they feast on the salmon crossing the area. Up in the Arctic, in a stroke of luck, and it's time to retreat before the predator ruins their footage. Marine seals are part of sharks' menu. They've learned to evade attacks by swimming right behind the shark's tail until it gives up, allowing them to quickly escape. In this case, the shark prefers to hunt the seal with more movement, which applies the technique, swims behind the shark, and eventually finds the chance to escape. But the spy seal hasn't yet learned to escape from sharks. It's going to have to face it and fight for its life. The seal remains calm, and after an intense encounter, the shark realizes it's not the prey it needs, and it decides to continue its hunt. The Stan Winston School in Hollywood envisioned the massive reptile from the movie The Crocodile as a full-size animatronic puppet with a moving head, tail, and crushing jaws that would function underwater. That's how the technique improved to the point of creating these robots with movements similar to real animals, allowing them to capture footage that had never been possible from this perspective. The mother crocodile adopts the animatronic babies as her own, but what's even more amazing is how such a powerful beast can also be so delicate, transporting and sheltering her young with the same jaws that disintegrates skulls.